thank y'all. I really appreciate coming. This is the second year I've gotten to attend on behalf of the governor. He spends he sends his greetings, by the way. He knows all about this organization and all about your work. Because when I leave, I tell him what y'all are up to because it is incredibly impressive. Um, the governor, uh, Roy Cooper, is a very active volunteer. So every month, he has a volunteer activity, and I'm usually the one planning it for him. Um, so like you, he goes and tutors in the afternoons after school. Like you, he serves food um, to people who are struggling. So um, like you, he's, he, during Hurricane Matthew and since Hurricane Matthew, he's been involved in doing construction work, which by the way, makes me very nervous when he's using us all. Um, so I, I, I tell you this because it is an important aspect of this administration and more importantly we see the good that you're doing we see the impact i mean i'm looking at your your brochure about the number of hours you're serving um, my daughter is in high school and it happens to be that her high school requires community service hours now that's not the norm very few high schools actually require community service hours. Y'all don't, you choose to do this. You're not required to do this. But that's partly because of your community, your family, your world has moved you in this direction. But that's not the case for every kid. A lot of them did not grow up in homes where they were encouraged to do community service. Their parents don't do community service. They don't know how wonderful it feels to make a difference in someone else's lives. And so I ask you to think about the people around you, in your classes, in your teachers, and invite them to come and volunteer at some of these wonderful events that you're planning. Because I know that my kids would love to make smoothies and cut up mango. Um, I know that there are a lot of people who would not realize how great it feels to do that kind of thing. Um, now, I, I, and I, I say this not just um, to point out how different it is to be in an environment like this, but I, I say what I'm going to say next because I want to make sure you understand how different it is. In North Carolina, we are ninth in the nation for population. Ninth in the nation. We are 29th in volunteerism. You see that, that, that gap right there? That's what I want to increase. I want to, I want to short, oops, shorten that gap because I know that there are people out there that are doing generous things. Like uh, uh, someone earlier um, uh, uh, said something about Every day you should wake up and do something charitable. I know it was a quote, but uh, I, I would like to live in a community, in a world where that's how everyone felt. And if your peers are not also engaged in community service, they're missing out on that community experience. It, it, it reminds me of, um, I have a friend who works with the homeless. Um, or as he says, people who choose to live outdoors. And at one point in time, a woman was crying because they were turning out the power. She'd gotten an apartment, and they were turning out the power at the apartment. And she was begging him for money. And he didn't have a job. He was helping, but he didn't have a job, so he didn't have any money to give her. But he said, I, I can't give you any money. And she got very upset and said, but I'll sit with you in the darkness. And a lot of your ministry, and this is a type of ministry, you are sitting with people during the worst times of their lives, when they're suffering and at Ronald McDonald House with some loved one that they're stressed out about, and you're giving them a home-cooked meal. So you are making a difference, whether you hear it from those people, or you just hear it from us when we get to come speak to you. But you are making a difference. And um, for those of you who are science fans, um, Einstein, he said, uh, only a life 
live in the service of others is worth living. So this is a man who spent his entire lifetime pursuing science, math. But he recognized how important it was to serve others. So on behalf of the governor, on behalf of my commission, I want to thank y'all for all that you do and all that you will do.